Hi everyone, um, it's me again, and I am, um, I've been thinking a lot lately, and I felt like I should have just explained myself a little more. I have not been dieting at all. I have been just gaining a whole bunch of weight, and I'm, I'm not happy with it. I'm honest, I'm like... At this point in my, I'm, I'm going to do journey because it's, it's not really a journey anymore, but um, as of right now, I have just been doing what I want. I have not been counting a single calorie. I have not been counting a single step I take, and I have not been caring about how my diet lifestyle is. and. And I'm just, I'm kind of fed up with it. I'm, I'm, for counting points slash calories for over three years, it's kind of like, I'd rather be counting than not knowing what's, what I'm holding accountable for throughout my day. And it's just, I don't know, it's weird. Um, it's like, I can just eat something and not feel guilty about it, but then, at the end of the night, I could just be like, I really should have been doing better. Tomorrow I'll do better. And then tomorrow will happen, and I'll do good until lunch, and then lunch is just screwed over, and then I don't give a shit about dinner, and then it's that whole vicious cycle again. And I have, I think I have about three to four months before my sister's wedding, and right now my goal is to at least stay fitting in my bridesmaid's dress. Um, my goal is to lose enough weight to maybe lose a few inches off that dress, but at this point it's not happening, I don't believe. I mean, it could happen if I really strip myself and starve or go below minimum calories or exercise two to three hours a day. It could happen if I do that, but that's just crashing and I do not want to do that. I know people who do it and they get to the weight they want and then the second they need to do what they need to do, it gains back. I um how can I say this? I did go through some of my videos, my older videos, and I never really look at them. Like I just like I would look at myself in them, but not really listen to what I was saying to myself. Whereas now I like I just watched it and I'm like tell my I'm looking at this I'm like this was a confident person who wanted to keep going and then you know, just, it just, life happened, and it's going to keep happening, and I will hopefully get back there, and if I don't, I, you know, it's my life, and I know I shouldn't be upset with how things have been going, but I'm kind of okay with, like, you know, where they are now, it's, it's kind of like the same thing, it's like, I still don't feel like I'm that heavy girl, that started at 239 pounds, but I, but I know I'm nowhere near that confident person at 165, and, and it's just weird, I mean, it's like, I'm not, there are like, a points right now where I'm like, I'm just, I'm starting to get very uncomfortable in my body right now, like, not like looking at it, but it's more like, I'm like moving around, and not having, like, you know, feeling that out of breath feeling, and getting sicker more, and I just I don't like it and I need and I know I need to do something about it and I, I just feel like this has just been a big wake-up call I don't I don't know why it's just taken like you know four weeks to get it done um, I just it just feels weird you know just talking about doing it again it's like I'm pretty sure everyone's like oh my gosh you're saying this again and again and again well if I don't keep saying it, then I'm just going to let it go, and then the pounds are going to keep coming on. And then, you know, it's like, at least now I'm still at the same freaking weight at 213. And, you know, it's better to be 213 than to be 223 or 233 or 243. At least it's better than moving up. But I just, I don't want to be pigging out anymore. I don't want to be going to Starbucks at... 10 30 at night when I don't need the caffeine I don't need to go to Dunkin Donuts for, for for ice cream I don't need to go I don't need to have that midnight craving of snacks I can't do that anymore I'm not what I I am still not trying to get back to where it used to be but at the same time it's like I feel like I can 
and I just, I don't know, I just, I'm just weird like this right now. I'm probably gonna get really better at this. I, I keep looking over here, my TV on, it's like, but I think, I actually have to say, I watched Melissa's video. Um, I think it's, I don't know her new channel, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Melissa, but, um, her old channel is The Real Melissa Lynn, and she put up a new channel, which I'll put in the, well, not, no longer somewhere, it would be the underbar, if you want to call it. I'll put her link in there, go check her out. And she was just, she was just saying about how, you know, she was living her life how she wanted, and now she's just taking a change. And it's a change for the good, and, you know, she's already lost so much weight already, and she's amazing, and she's just an incredible person to begin with, so go and support her. And, um, and then Jason's video the other night where he was asking if we need the leader. And I'm looking at myself in that video and I'm like, you know what? I do look good, but I can look way better. And, um, it's just, it's amazing on how so much can change within a year. I mean, I'm looking at my videos now where I did my 32 day vlogs and I'm just so surprised on how completely different I am. I have longer hair, I got a bigger face, and my body's all changed, like this whole thingy is gone, and you can see it clearly in my other videos, but um, I was just like in amazement on like, you know, I know I can get there, what's stopping me? Oh, some chips in the cabinet, well, stop eating chips, it's not worth it, and, and sure, you know what, I'm at the point where, you know, I'm kind of blaming everything, of, oh, I need to be... I need to look this good by my sister's point. I'm like, you know what? I don't need to look good at any point. I need to feel good. I need to be confident. And and all this other stuff. I just that's the way I gotta do. I gotta put my mind back into it. I know how to diet. I def everyone knows how to diet. It's just the whole point of putting your mind into it. And right now my mind is kind of like I can go for some chips right now. And I know there's a chocolate cake in the fridge but a big glass of full fat milk is going to really feel good. Whereas I should be like, hey, I want to exercise or I miss running and I want to get back on my bike. I kind of always give the excuse that it's so hot, which it is in Florida summer, it is always going to be hot, but I can't keep excusing it on the weather or anything like that. I have a garage with two gym equipment. I have a whole pound full of weights down here with lots of bands and there's no excuse for me not doing it. It's just my bra my brain is telling me, eh, you don't need to do it. You're lazy. You don't need to. So, I'm going to get back to it. I don't, I have to do this. I have to because I do not want my life to end because I am being lazy. <laughs> If that even makes sense, like not my life gonna end, but it's just like I don't want my youth to go down the drain because of my weight, because I could be doing other stuff. Like I could be doing anything I want, but now at this certain weight, I probably can't because I'm just being lazy. I gotta just smack myself across the head and just be like, get over it. It's like a V8 commercial. Have you had yours? But I just I need to I need to do something. Who's with me?